Hello and welcome to another Podcast Pontifications with me, Evo Terra. If you're watching this on video, please note, this is not a podcast. This is a video where I am talking about podcasting. If you would like to get the podcast, and more importantly, the episodes of the podcast, why all 130 of them are available at podcastpontifications.com. In just a few hours, I will be on a plane headed to Orlando, Florida to go and jump into Podcast Multimedia, no, no, Podfest Multimedia Expo, Podfest, in Orlando, 2019. I'm going to be giving a talk at that convention on Friday, but for those of you who can't get to it, I want to surface a particular idea that is going to be central, not only central, but kind of the wrap-up. So here's the spoiler. I guess, of my of my talk. It has to do with politics, but it doesn't have to do with politics as you're thinking about them today. It has to do with the politics of podcasting. The politics of podcasting. Uh, that was a bad song. Bad, bad song parody. Uh, Weird Al would not do that one. Politics of podcasting have to do with the two camps that are very clearly dividing. Now, I've talked about a little bit about this before, but my, my thoughts have become more solidified as as I continue. So there's a false war going on, a false division, which I want to caution you against. And that false division is this line of indie podcaster versus pro podcaster. Dumb. It's dumb. It's imaginary. It's dumb. So ignore that. That's not the real dividing lines. The real dividing lines of these new two political camps that are cropping up in podcasting I am refining, I am refining, I am defining two new terms. You are either on the conventional side of podcasting or you are on the advancing side of podcasting. Conventional or advancing. Uh, Pretty clear what, I hope that's clear what they mean. Uh, Conventional basically means you want things to say the same thing they are right now. And that's your view of of, of, uh, podcasting. And a lot of people, a lot of voices in the industry right now have that particular attitude, what I consider a very conventional view of advertising. And as I will say in my talk at PodFest, um, my business is predicated on the conventional view of podcasting holding, at least for my clients. However, you will not be surprised to realize that's not the view that I hold. I am strongly in the other camp, the other political side of that, and that is the advancing side, what I'm calling the advancing side. And since, and I've got plenty of people on my side for this, but we're not really, we're not really organized. But then again, the conventional side isn't very organized either. So we're not quite at the politicking level. We're not quite at the name calling <laughs> level yet. You know, conservative versus liberal, Republican versus Democrat, left versus right, whatever. Um, ours is conventional versus advancing. I have I have thus far named it. And since I am clearly in the advancing side, I want to take a moment, if I can, and kind of put forth if we were a political party, what would our platform be? Now I don't have this all detailed out. I've ran this by zero other people. I've not workshopped this. So this is my interpretation, is if, in fact, we were going to organize around this concept of being in the advancing camp, and I'm not so sure we are. In fact, I'm probably sure we're not. But nonetheless, if we were, what would our platform, what would our position actually be? And I jotted down a couple of things, a couple of notes, I think, which isn't enough to make a platform. But I think I've got a couple of litmus tests. Maybe that's a one way to say it. So you would you said whether you agree or, or disagree with this, and that will determine whether you're in the advancing camp or the conventional camp. Oh, by the way, before I get to these notes, to to my friends on the other side of the aisle, to those in the conventional camp, thank you very much. I need you to stay there. I, my, my goal is not to convince everybody to think about things the way that I do. Because that's just groupthink. I need the conventional people out there continuing to lobby for their side because they make a lot of really good points. They make, they have a good understanding of the way things are right now and they keep me reflecting and making sure that the things I come up with are actually good ideas, not just crazy ideas. Because I got some crazy ideas. 
But that's not there. That's not the goal. So again, if you're in the conventional side, that's fine. I'm not, I'm not denigrating you. I'm not, I don't want to call you names. None of that. I love the conventional side because I love the opposition. We have to love the opposition. But let's get back to my side, the advancing side of podcasting. Two primary points, I think, that would make up a platform or the beginnings of a platform if we were to make one. Number one, technology should make podcasting better, not just easier. There's a lot of technology out there to make podcasting easier. Hi, Anchor. But I don't think it makes it better. In fact, I'm convinced it doesn't make it better. More doesn't equal better. So if you think more shows coming into podcasting makes podcasting better, you're wrong. More makes things different. More doesn't necessarily make things better. So platform position number one is that technology should make podcasting better, not just easier. And by the way, the people I think that could help with that, some things specific, action, what do I want to do about that one is I want my hosting companies making podcasting better, not just easier. I want my podcast hosting companies and my podcast production companies making podcasts better as well as making it easier. I want them to make sure that they don't let their clients screw up. I think they, they, could make things a lot better for podcasters. That's number one. Technology should make podcasting better, not just easier. Platform position number two. New models are required to reach the 70% that don't listen. New models on, on all sides, production side, on the supply side, on the app side, all the, we need new models, new revenue models. New models are required to reach the 70%, roughly, that don't listen to podcasts today. We're not going to get there with incremental moves. Although it's working, I love it. Keep the word of mouth going. Continue to slowly grow your audiences. Yes, we should do that, but the position of the advancing side is that we know that new models are required if we're really going to reach the masses who do not listen. New apps? Yeah. New ways of discovering? Yes. Everything needs to be, we need new stuff. Not that the old stuff is bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying we should get rid of the old and go all the way in with new. But if we hope to reach the vast majority of people who do not yet listen to podcasting on a regular basis, it's going to require new models, new content, new apps, new discovery, new monetization angles, new entrance. Everything has to be new. New people are required to reach the rest of those. I'd love to say I have three, but I don't. I only wrote down two. I've got those two ideas that technology should make podcasting better, not just easier, and that new models are required to reach the 70% who do not listen today. Those are, as I see them today, the primary things that differentiate someone who is of the advancing mindset as opposed to the more conservative-minded brethren of mine and sisterethen of mine inside of the podcasting community. Which side do you land on? Again, I love my conventionals. Thank you for keeping that going because that's what keeps me in business. <laughs> because if it was better and easier, I'd be running out. I'd have to do something different, which is fine. I'm totally okay with that. Totally okay with knocking down my stuff and making it happen. So where do you fit? I would love to find out where you stand in that. So you can leave comments here in the show itself, or you can reach out to me via email if you like, evo at podcastlaunch.pro. And if you're a business and you're listening to this, you're going, yeah, that's why we haven't yet entered into podcasting because we too take an advancing look at things. Can you help us? As a matter of fact, I can. My company, Simpler Media, we are the in-house but really outsourced podcast production company for lots of podcasts around the globe. And we'd love to help you and your business as well. Get in touch. Go to podcastlaunch.pro to see a list of all the services that I offer. I am on an airplane now, but I will still be back tomorrow from Florida with yet another podcast pontifications. Cheers. Cheers.